The Bee Tarot by Christopher Hughes and artwork by Nadia Turner. I am so excited to do this. Look how pretty this box is. It has this sticker look on there. I think I can get that shine. There we go. Isn't that bee so beautiful? I'm so excited to open this. I've been looking at this for about a month or so and um, I finally gave in because bees have been coming up every single day. I even drove by a truck on the way to pick up the kids at school and this truck bed and I don't know what was going on but it was absolutely covered in honeybees. <laughs> We're like, what is going on? So. I've been thinking about getting a bee tattoo for a year or so, and I think I'm getting close to that. So I had to get the bee, uh, bee tarot, and I'm just excited about this. Um, the pictures looked great online. Um, Crystal Medicine got this as well. She said she loved it. And I'm like, okay, I believe it's time. So I'm gonna read you the back of this. Sorry about the background traffic. I'll try to pause it while they come by and then come back. So it may just be a little bit off, okay? Right, so this is the side of this box. It's a really great box. How that looks like a sticker as well. Oh, it's so pretty. The bees all over it. it looks like a honeycomb. So let me read you the back. Um, it does say, ask the wild bee what the old druids know. So this is connected to druidism by the creator, Christopher Hughes. So follow the keeper's journey into the magical world of bees. Through 78 cards buzzing with divinatory energy, best-selling author Christopher Hughes explores the symbiotic relationship between bees and humankind. Discover the life cycles of bees, the archetypes of their world, and their mythological and cultural attributes. With Nadia Turner's exquisite art, a premium linen card finish, and Christopher's full color guidebook, this right away Smith style kit beautifully marries bee traditions with tarot wisdom for a hardworking tool in sync with the rhythms of nature. And this is the back. So gives you a few of the images um, of the cards in this specific deck. The cards are not that uh, shape, but I love how he used those uh, images uh, as like the honeycomb, right? So it opens up like this. It's magnetic, the lid. It's so beautiful. Look how pretty this is. The honeycomb, the colors, just so honey. <laughs> it's so sweet. So this looks like a scroll. It's got this little message in here and it says, did the bees understand the mysteries of the Druids or did the bees perhaps give them access to those mysteries? And look at the cute little bees all over. And here's the guidebook. This is a real book. I love when decks come with real books because when I buy tarot and oracle and they all come with guidebooks, most likely that is adding to my personal own library the oracle the tarot with the guidebooks that's all my personal own library so that's so fun so let's pull out this guidebook it's just amazing so here's the it says into the hive right we're all bees in this world and the earth is like our honeycomb our hive right which has been said before, which I absolutely love. So here's the guidebook. It, this thing's heavy duty, really, really well made. It has this matte finish, really pretty. And it also has this slight design and gilding on the pages. It almost has a honeycomb look to it. Really gorgeous. This is super well made. And I will read you the back of this book. So harvest the sweet nectar of intuition. Bees have always guided the actions of humans and for centuries, so has tarot. Best-selling author Christopher Hughes combines the wisdom of these worlds to produce a powerful deck that gives you clarity and direction. This guidebook takes you through the symbolism and meaning behind each insightful card. Christopher elegantly brings the a priori to life, highlight, highlighting bee archetypes and their mythological and cultural attributes in the major arcana. The minor arcana made up of wands, jars, swords, and pentacles. So jars is for the cups, right? explores the life cycle of bees, 
humming in sync with humankind, featuring buzzwords, card interpretations for uprights and reversals, and six original bee-inspired spreads. This companion helps you extract the most from your deck. Fully colored guidebook. And I love how he has um, done, and the artist has done each page as the card picture. It's so cool. And it's all colored. I love how it's the full page too. So that one is the Nine of Wands. Beautiful. It has a slight shine. Yeah, this is a real book. Okay. Here's the inside of the very first page. A cute little honeybee. And then you turn the page and there's the Ace of Swords. Into the hive. See, that's bunny, uh, honeycomb. Honeycomb. <laughs> Look. All right. And they tell about the author and the artist. So let's read about the author. Christopher Hughes Wales is chief of the Anglesey Druid Order, a Mount Hymas scholar and a member of the Order of Bards. Um, Ovates and Ruits. He is a teacher, writer, workshop leader, and guest speaker at pagan conferences, camps, and festivals throughout the United Kingdom, Europe, and North America, and has also contributed to Welsh and English television and radio. He's the author of four books and the creator of the Celtic Tarot and Yuletide Tarot, and he gives his website... So there's that on the author, Christopher Hughes. Now we'll read a little bit about the artist, okay? About the artist, Nadia Turner creates wayward wonders in the magical Dandenong Ranges just outside of Melbourne. She is heavily influenced by ancient myth, fairy tales, witchcraft, and the worlds of the Fae. When not drawing or creating, you'll find her coffee in hand, pursuing bookstores or wandering in the forest looking for mushrooms and treasures. She has illustrated several children's books and The Mists of Avalon Oracle, Rockpool Publishing 2019, and gives her website as well. Really fun. All right. So we'll turn the page. Really pretty artwork. Very good illustrations. Beautiful. And then the contents. See how cute. So cute. So there's the contents. So it goes into the hive, beyond the hive. The waggle dance, which is how to read the tarot. And then the major arcanas and the minor arcanas. Some spreads. There's an introduction. All right. And then here's chapter one, Into the Hive, the magical world of bees. They really are magic. It's amazing. Then we have chapter two, Beyond the Hive, the magical world of tarot. It's so unique and very beautiful. Okay, and then what is really nice is that they have the comparisons from the Rider Waite Tarot, the original Rider Waite Tarot, to the Bee Tarot. There are some things changed up, so it's really unique. And like I said, um, the Wands is Wands, the Swords is Swords, Pinnacles is Pinnacles, but the Jars is for the Cups. So this would be really fun for beginners to learn tarot because it, it pulls you in, it gets your attention. There are some differences from the right away tarot, but I feel it would be easy to use this guidebook to refer to the original right away tarot to compare the two. So in this tarot, the Delphic B is actually the Hierophant, right? And not all of them are changed, but just a few of them are changed up. So it's really nice to refer back to this guidebook. And this guidebook is great to read. It's simple, it's, it's easy to read, you know? And they also tell you about what an ace means all the way up to a 10. So a 10 would be a, a, a fulfillment, a completion, and an ace would be a new beginning, a new start, right? So beautiful. Now on to chapter three, the waggle dance, how to read the tarot. The artwork is incredible. Just amazing. This book is amazing. I'm so excited to add this to my library. All right. And chapter four is the major arcanas. And look how fun this is. Each page number has a 
has that honeycomb and bees. Really cute. All right, and then they go into the meanings of each card. So this is the fool but it's called the Keeper. And they have the name of the card, the card number, and a simple description. And then into the full description of the card meaning, as well as an upright meaning and a reversal meaning. So they're all like that. So that is amazing. And in the back of the guidebook is the spreads. So I'll show you a couple of those. I love how they use that honeycomb look. So there's the four bee spread, the forager spread, the hive and flower spread. Oh, that's amazing. I feel like that would be a very good spread to do. And the waggle dance. And they are so detailed. It tells you exactly what card is for, the meaning for that and why. And um, there's also a meadow spread great book the case spread so fun and there's a conclusion oh and acknowledgments and that's where the book ends so let me read you the acknowledgments and then we're gonna go and look at the cards okay so acknowledgments this deck would not exist without the influence and inspiration of Ian Gibbs, my beekeeper. They thank you for all that you have done to bring bees into my life over the last two decades and for your advice and guidance whilst writing and designing this deck. Secondly, to Nadia for her absolutely gorgeous illustrations and her ability to take my visions and scribbles and transform them into beautiful works of art. Thanks to my editorial team at Llewellyn Worldwide, who are always there at the end of an email headed by the wonderful Barbara Moore and to Becky Zins, who always does the most meticulous and wondrous job of designing my books and bringing them to life. Last, but by no means least, to the bees at the end of the garden, thank you. Yes, thank you, bees. Thank you. So this is a 285-page guidebook, but it's simple to read. It is, I think it'd be amazing for beginners, just as long as you're okay with just learning a little bit of a difference to uh, the major arcanas just a few simple differences not really a big deal so now at the inside are the cards and you pull them out with this ribbon and these are the backs of the cards we've seen that in the guidebook it's as well uh in here as well really cute the box everything is so detailed this is actually like a canvas feel texture so it's like a canvas you know which i love that these are really good size for tarot very very good size they have rounded edges let's check the card stock um, a little bit thinner than what i personally would want but since they have this texture and canvas feel it's like they're a little bit thicker and non-scratchable right so i feel like they could they're a little bit thin, um, but really workable. Okay, so let's go through the cards. So the very first one is the zero of the major arcana, is the beekeeper, which would be the fool in original right away tarot. The illustrations, the artwork is beautiful. They're so fun. So now we have number one, the magician, which is the magician in right away tarot. We have card number two, the Melisai. Ooh, that's beautiful. So that would be the um, High Priestess in the original Right Away Tarot. Beautiful though. She has her own wings. She has a dress full of the bees. She's the queen bee right there. Now we have card three, the Empress, which is the original. She's so beautiful. Now we have a card for the Emperor. Wow, so this is the King Bee, I take it. <laughs> All right, we have card five, the Delphic Bee, which would originally be the Hierophant card in the tarot. And it's a woman, usually it's a, a male. And on camera, 
it is great. It doesn't have that super, super, super shine to it. It looks really good. Just a little bit when you catch it in the right lighting, but it's great on camera. Okay, so now we have card six, the honeymoon, which originally would be the lover's card. I'm gonna hold this back just a little bit. Gorgeous. We have a card seven, the barrow, which would originally be the chariot card, which is like a vehicle. That's perfect. I love the wheelbarrow, the barrow. That's a great one. All right, we have a card eight, the strength card original strength card beautiful okay now we have card nine the hermit which is the original hermit meaning well original right away meaning <laughs> they're so cute unique fun all right we have a card 10 the wheel which is the wheel of fortune look how pretty beautiful gardens what a bee a bee <laughs> A bee just flew at me. I just, I won't hurt you bee. You just leave me be, and we can be together and be beautiful and be happy and be in harmony. <laughs> Is it on me? I don't think so. Okay, I think we're good. All right bees, hold on just a second. <laughs> okay. Next card is perfect. All right, Justice, card 11, getting stung by the bee. Karma sucks. Okay, I gotta kinda speed up a little bit. Okay, we have a card 12, the hanged one, which would be the original hanged man card. Covered in bees, look at that, but he's satisfied, you know. <laughs> I also got my little bee necklace on. I love this thing, it was gift to me, gifted to me by a loved one. Okay, we have card number 13, Death. Original right away tarot's Death. Okay, card 14, Temperance. So this is the cover of the guidebook. Beautiful, wow. Okay, we have a card 15, The Devil. This, look, this is so good. The beekeepers, it's this field of just profiting off the honey. Look at that. And look at, there's no plants around so they can pollinate and everything. Wow, that is a great um, illustration, a great um, meaning of that devil card. Wow. Okay, now we have a card 16, the tower. Oh, snap. These are wasps, by the way. Ooh, that's a good one. Wow. Wow. All right, now we have card 17, the star card. Original meaning is the star card. These are wasps too, which they can pollinate as well, you know? So very interesting. All right, then we have a card 18, the moon. Original meaning. See, there's just a few differences in the major arcana. So it's really not like, oh my gosh, you know, um, this is going to be too much to learn tarot with. No, not at all. This would be super nice, especially referring back to this guidebook. Beautiful. Now we have card 19, the sun. I love all of this. Every single type of bee is on this sunflower. Ah, this is so good. I love this so much. I actually was weeding my pots and stuff extra soil new soil and I found a dead bumblebee I'm like oh dang it he may have froze or something I'm not sure oh wow okay now we have a card number 20 this is rebirth this would actually be the judgment card in the original right away tarot wow, being born judgment can be like a rebirth second chances so that's really good and then we have the last major arcana, the world card. All right, number 21, different types of bees again. All right, now we're gonna go into the wands. So the wands is fire. So there, this is the ace of wands, beautiful. You can still see all, all of the meanings of the original right away tarot in this tarot. We have the two of wands, perfect. Okay, three of wands. Yep, these are great. You can totally see the original right away tarot, which makes it easy. So now we have the four of wands, so cute. 
Now we have the five of wands, really great. The six of wands, beautiful. I love the horse. All right, seven of wands. I hear a wasp. They're trying to build their nests. <laughs> Eight of wands, perfect. Oh, snap. <laughs> I've got a giant bee. You better stay away. He'll get you. <laughs> okay. Just don't freak out, you know? And they'll leave you alone. So funny. All right. Nine of wands. Wow. Wow. Okay. We have the ten of wands. Oh, he's got so much pollen on his legs. I love it. Bringing it back to the hive. Did his job for the day. <laughs> okay, we have a princess of wands, which would be like a page of wands in the original Rider, Rider Waite Tarot. I've seen this a few times. So this is the court cards. Oh, um, this is so amazing. Beautiful. We have the prince of wands. I love these meanings for the court cards. So this is the knight of wands in the original Rider Waite Tarot. Queen of Wands. Amazing. Wow. And the King of Wands. So powerful. So, so good. Okay, now we're going to go into the cups, but they are called the jars, which is pretty easy meaning, right? Common sense. So, Ace of Jars, which would be the Ace of Cups. We have the two of jars, so two of cups. So pretty. All right, three of jars, three of cups. Four of jars, four of cups. They're great. Five of jars, five of cups. Wow, gorgeous. That's like the most beautiful five of cups I've ever seen. Six of jars, six of cups. Amazing. Honey. Honey. Okay. Seven of jars, seven of cups. Really, really good. Okay, we have the eight of jars, eight of cups. Great meanings, illustrations, artwork. Nine of jars, nine of cups. Ten of jars, ten of cups. Oh, that's cute the outfits, costumes. I thought about um, getting myself some bees. Um, was it last summer? Yep, it was, no, it was two summers ago, but I decided to wait until like we got a new home. Um, so I believe I'm gonna end up trying to have our own um, hive and um, take care of the bees. So I think that'd be really fun. A lot of people do that out here where I live. But anyway, so now we are at the court cards of the cups. Princess of Jars, so the Page of Cups. Prince of Jars, Prince of, or Knight of Cups, sorry. I love that shield with the bee on it, wow. Okay, Queen of Jars, the Queen of Cups. King of Jars, King of Cups, wow. Pretty amazing. All right, now we're into the swords. So the Ace of Swords. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is so cool. I love it. All right, Two of Swords. Three of Swords. The Four of Swords. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, and then five of swords. Ooh, snap. A woodpecker pecking at the hive. All right, we have the six of swords. Beautiful. Okay, come here, white butterfly. All right, now we have the seven of swords. There goes that woodpecker. That's cute. Eight of swords. 
incredible. We're all part of this part of this hive here on Earth. It's amazing. I love this tarot. All right, nine of swords. Ten of swords. Princess of swords. So the page of swords, the court cards. All right, Prince of Swords. So the Knight of Swords. I love the wings added. Hey, okay, Queen of Swords. King of Swords. Wow. All right, now the last is Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. Wow. Very different. I like it. All right. Three of Pentacles. Oh, this is so cool. So they are doing candles from the wax. That's amazing. All right. Four of Pentacles. Whoa, wind. That V just flew right through us. All right, we have the five of pentacles. Almost there. Six of pentacles. This is super cute. All right, seven of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Wow. All right. Ten of Pentacles. The court cards now. Princess of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles. This is so neat. For the Pentacles, they didn't use people. They used bees or wasps, right? Or so cool. This is the Prince of Pentacles, so the Knight of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles. Amazing. Different types of bees. I love that. Last, the King of Pentacles. That is so neat. These are amazing. All right, so this was the unboxing of the beautiful bee tarot really good size would be great to shuffle especially if, if you have smaller hands and the texture is amazing the illustrations the artwork very unique but very easy to use it would be great to shuffle and um the guidebook is very 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 helpful especially for beginners so there's that and it's a great added um into your collection of decks even books your library like I call mine it's my library my my cards the books the guidebooks that come along with it it's just my library and everything's so fun so beautiful and amazing this is so well made I highly recommend it so if you're interested in the bee tarot by Christopher Hughes and the artwork is by Nadia Turner then I will put that link in the description Thank you all so, so much for being here during my unboxing. And I'm wishing you the very best day ever. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much. Unconditional love and light. So be it. And I'll see you guys in the next unboxing. Bye.